Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So basically, today in this video, we are going to make two projects, right? One would be a project with another library and another would be a project with some other library. Okay, now what's the project that we are going to make? So today, firstly, we are going to use one uh, library that we have in Python programming language and that is PyJokes, okay, P-Y-J-O-K-E-S. Now, this is one of the library which actually helps us to read some jokes, okay? This is the library which is basically helping us to read the jokes so pi jokes is one of the python libraries it like it gives you the jokes in computer related to computer languages and all that things right and second we are gonna see one random module right we all are obviously familiar with the random modules i had made many more videos on this random module also so basically today we are gonna generate a password using that random module okay so these are the two projects which we are gonna do today and let's begin with the things and let's see basically i will be telling you everything in this particular video itself right so let's get started here and firstly i will be making the project for the jokes now here basically in python we have some libraries okay that makes the projects to write very easy either in one or two lines simply you need to just import the library and start writing that pyjokes.get and basically you will be getting the jokes here Right, so this is actually advantage of Python. Why actually we all prefer to use Python because it has actually it gives us some very useful libraries which are very easy to use actually. Fine. So the library that we are gonna use is PyJokes. So firstly, you need to install that library into your devices, whatever you are using. Right, so here I'll be using the command and that is pip install and pip install and after that basically I'll be using PyJokes. J O K E S. Okay, so the spelling is P Y J O K E S. Make sure to write the spelling correctly. Okay, and I would just hint, hit enter. So basically, for me, it will show that requirement already satisfied because I have already downloaded that into my device. But for you, basically, it will be showing that downloading and all that things, and after that, it will show you successfully downloaded. Great. Now, the, here I have just downloaded my library, and that is PyJokes. Now what I would be doing here is that I would be importing my PyJokes library. So here I'm writing import P-Y-J-O-K-E-S. Okay. This is basically how we import a library in Python programming, right? This is the same format. Uh, this same format applies for any of the libraries which you want to import, right? Simply you need to use the import. And after in front of that import, you need to write the name of the library which you want to import. Right now, basically, what I'm just gonna do here is that I would be even writing the command which is used for installing PyJoke so that if you had just missed that thing in the terminal, so you you here you can just refer for that, okay? So import PyJokes I have done. Now, basically, what I'd be doing is that I would be making my print statement, and in my print statement, I would simply be using my library, and that is PyJoke. I would simply be using that, okay? PyJokes and now basically I have a function in PyJokes library and that is get underscore joke. Okay, this is one of the functions that we have in this PyJokes library. And here we completed the project. Yes, that was this much simple easy with the help of this PyJokes library. Okay, so here I would just explain this one that I have used my print statement and here inside that I just used my library that is PyJokes. And from that library, I used a function that is get underscore joke. So basically, that will help us to give like uh, that will basically help us to receive some jokes from this PyJokes library. Okay. Now, if I just run my program here, and okay. So basically, uh, okay. The joke here is coming. That is why did Microsoft named their search engine uh, binge because it's not Google. Uh, yeah, I know it, it does not look, look like a joke. But yeah, basically some jokes look like a joke and some jokes do not. Right. Okay. A programmer walks into a bar and orders 1.3 root beers. The bartender informs her it's a root beer float. She says make it a double. Fine, so this is a like uh, this is a programming joke, right? So here you can just need to understand a little bit and all that things using the spy jokes library. So basically, my main motive was to show you one library in Python which you can just use simply, simply import that library, import simply import a function, and you can just get get some programming jokes, right? So this was the first project that we were making, and second, here I'll be making a password generator. Now basically, that password generator, I'm just not like I'm just, I would just simply be taking the random module and with the help of that random module i would simply be making that password generator fine okay now 
sub so uh, my first step that i need to do here is that i need to import my random module right so import random i would be writing okay import random now basically my next thing comes here is that i would be writing all the alphabet or the characters that i have in my keyboard because i want some strong password to be generated right i do not want a password in the form of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 no this isn't a password right anyone can just crack this password very 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 easily right so i want some password that should be a little bit difficult to crack right so in that case firstly what i would be doing is that let's say i'll be taking a variable and that would be var let's say var is equal to okay now in this var basically what i would be doing i would be firstly storing all the small characters of a b c d okay so let just just have a look that what i am actually doing let me quickly uh, close this thing from here okay c a b c d and i'll be writing all the basically all the characters that we have in english okay in the small letters because i want the combination of the password to have one small at least one small character at least one large character at least one symbol and at least one number okay i want my password to be have these four things for sure okay i would repeat that again at I need the password that I would be generating for here. That password should contain at least one small alphabet, at least one big alphabet, at least one special symbol, and at least one number. Okay, so for that, basically what I'd be doing, I'd be writing all the things in this where variable. Okay, M N O P. Uh, okay, that is Q R S G U V W X Y Z. Okay, I have written each and everything here in the small caps. Now I will be adding some numbers. Okay, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Okay, these are numbers which I have added. Now I will be writing all the alphabets into capital letters because I want some capital letters also to be in my password, right? So I'll be writing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, and then Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, and then Y, and Z. Right, so I have just written all the characters. Now, even I want some special symbols also. So for that, basically, I'm writing this. So what do we like special symbols you are able to see on your text on your uh, keyboard? Just apply all of them. Okay, just apply all of them. Whatever you are just able to see here. Fine. So this is basically how you can just uh like make uh, put that different different things into this var variable i would again repeat that i want my password to be hard to have some small characters some large characters and some symbols some numbers so because of that only i just entered all these things here let's say now you want your password only to have numbers okay so you will simply enter numbers here you will not be entering the special symbols and the characters let's say you want your password only and only to have a small character so you will be only and only entering the small characters neither alphabets nor symbols okay so this depends on you that what type of actually uh, password you want here right now just come down basically here i would be defining one another variable and that is length now what this length will actually contain that basically what should be the length of my password okay the password that i would be getting what should be the length of that let's say here i just wrote 10 so it means that the password which should be which will be generated the length for that password should be 10 okay i would again come down here and basically what i would be taking is that i'll be taking a new variable that is p okay p is equal to now into this basically i would put the semicolon and after that i would put a dot and here i would be adding my join function now this join function will actually what do it will be helping me to generate some random password and basically it will be helping me to generate all that uh, like join all that password in one okay it's not the case that i am getting small a then i am uh, then four uh, spaces are left then i am getting seven and four spaces are left then i am getting a no, I want my whole password to be joined, right? So in that case, I just use my join function. So inside the join function, I'll be using my random module, okay? Random dot. And basically, here I'll be using sample. Okay, sample is one another function which we have. After that, basically, I'll be using the variable in which I have stored my uh, alphabet, C, B, C, D, uh, up to like 1, 2, 3, 4, and special symbols and all that things, right? So for me, it is V, A, R. Basically, for whatever it is, just write that here, okay? 
and basically after that basically i'll be adding that what length actually i want okay l e n g t h okay fine so what length of my password actually i want so for that i have taken this length okay and that i have stored in 10 so i just simply wrote that here fine and at last i would simply print here p now p is a variable that will actually be storing my password my random password that will be generated and i just wanted to print that thing so simply i just use print p okay now i would just run my program here for a while okay now have a look that here i just got some password some random password is generated now first count that it is be it must be having 10 things okay 10 alphabets or 10 characters 10 words basically it will be a combination of 10 so that's 3 3 6 3 9 and 1 10 right absolutely now this will be containing my capital letters as well as my small letters yes that is true it will even be containing a number and it will even be containing some special symbols Right, so this is the password which is generated here right now. Let's say I change the length to 15. Let's say I change the length to 15, okay? And now when I would just run it here for a while again. Now just have a look that I got a password which is having up to 15 characters. Sorry, 15, uh, combination of 15 words, okay? It, either it can be special symbols, it can be numbers, it can be caps, it can be small. Whatever the things you have given into the var variable, it will be consisting of all those things. Fine. So this is basically how we can make a random password generator. Now here one thing comes that basically if you do not want the password that special symbol should come so just remove that special symbols which you have added at the last if you do not want that the small letters should come so remove the small letters which you have added here okay it just goes like this let me show you that thing here also if i remove all these special symbols right now okay and now if i just run out my program here now i would be getting my password uh, in that password simply number would be there my capital letters and my small letters will only be there because i have removed my symbols from this uh, var variable which i have taken to generate a random password for me right so this is the procedure that actually follow this is the way how you can just make a password generator for you in python programming so let me just quickly revise the do both the uh, uh, these uh, projects that we have made so first one was the making the joke so that was i simply imported my pyjokes library and after that i simply printed pyjokes dot get underscore joke so get underscore joke was the function that is basically helps us to receive to retrieve some jokes from this pyjokes library okay that i have done and in my second uh, project i have imported a random module and in that random module after that i had simply taken a variable and that, that variable is actually consisting all those things which i want to be in my password let's say here i have i will i had taken a small alphabets large alphabets numbers and even the special symbols right after that i defined a variable that is length and in that basically i have told that actually what length should be of the password that i want and at last simply I used a random variable and passed my var and length both the variables into this. And at last I just printed P. Right, so this is the way how you can just make a random password generator and a, a project for jokes. Right, so this is all for this video. Till then thank you and take care.